Hey everybody, welcome back to Profiles from the Titanic. You know, this series is all about focusing on the people who perished on the Titanic to give them a face. You know, you can see the photographs of them and learn a little bit about who they were. And normally we focus on one person, right? That's what we've done as we started out this series. But today's gonna be a little bit different. It's not just one person, it's not even two persons. How about eight people? That's right, an entire family that went down on board the Titanic. And it's uh, to talk about if any one person is a tragedy, how about a family of eight just looking to try to better themselves coming to the United States today on Profiles from the Titanic, the Goodwin family. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Frederick Goodwin was born in 1870 in Surrey, England, and by adulthood was working as a printer and a compositor. In 1894, he married Augusta Tyler, and between 1896 and 1910, they had six children. In 1912, Frederick's brother Thomas, who was living in the United States, informed him that a job was available at a power station in Niagara, New York. So the Goodwin family decided to move. Like many other passengers at this time, in April of 1912, the Goodwins were scheduled to take another ship across the Atlantic, but due to the coal strike, their tickets were transferred to the RMS Titanic. Families were separated by gender in third-class accommodations, with Frederick and his three older sons in the bow of the ship, with Augusta, her two daughters, and young baby Sidney in the stern. Not much is known about the actions of the Goodwins after the Titanic hit the iceberg, but it has been speculated that the Goodwins did not even make it up to the boat deck until after all lifeboats had been launched. It is not known whether the family was even together or not at the time of the sinking. All eight members of the Goodwin family died. Five days after the sinking, a rescue ship sent to recover bodies floating in the water pulled the body of a roughly two-year-old boy out of the ocean. The child was not identified, and he was buried in a Halifax cemetery, along with many other unidentified victims. The headstone read simply, Unknown Child. A little over two decades ago, in 2001, efforts began using genetics to identify the child. Though the unknown child was twice incorrectly identified, the pair of shoes that was saved from the child in 1912 were the right size for 19-month-old Sidney Goodwin. After further tests in 2007, they concluded that the child was indeed the baby from the Goodwin family. He was the only member of the family to be identified. All in all, there were 706 third-class passengers on board the Titanic. Only 178 survived the disaster. Please hit the subscribe and like button, and thanks for watching Profiles from the Titanic.